Welcome to this video on the sharing options in Microsoft Forms. Now recently or over the last few months there's been a few updates in these so I just wanted to go over a few of those and give you some real life examples as to when they might work best for you. If you use Microsoft Forms to create surveys or even quizzes then you can share that to get results back or answers if it's a quiz in many different ways and I've just got a very quick basic event feedback template open right now and I'm going to look to the top right hand corner of my screen and the button that says collect responses and when I click on that button I'll have a number of different options you can see there is four circles towards the top right hand corner giving me four different options there and I've got some options also on the left hand side about who can access my form because I can limit within my organization, I can limit it to one response per person, or I can limit it down to individuals or groups within my organization as well. Now really do have a think about that because if some people may not have a device, they're gonna maybe use their personal device, you still wanna get results from them, so you may want to click on anyone can respond as long as they have the link. You can record the name so you can see the details, but sometimes when you're doing feedback surveys, that doesn't always give you accurate data because people don't want to share their real feelings if they know their name's going to be against them. So just really have a think about your culture, your people, who you're sharing it with, and what might be the best setting. So have a look at these settings along the top. The first one is the link. So this is a link that you can share in an email. In a chat, you can share it via an instant message. You can put it in a document, however it works best for you. And you can also shorten that URL as well to make it nice and easy to work with. And you can see a quick snapshot there of how the feedback form will look. The second option across is where you can send it to either Outlook or Teams via a message. And this is where you would send it to individuals. So you can select a name in there, a group, a chat or a channel where you can focus it on just the people who you want to get those results back from. So you've got a couple of options in that one. The third one across is event feedback. It's a QR code. So in here, you can take a download of that. You can add that to a document. You can add that to a slide. You can drop that into a Teams channel or anything else or put it on anything that you want to and gather feedback in that way. It's a really nice QR code. People can scan them. People are getting much more used to giving feedback that way as well. So it's a really nice quick generation. You can download and upload as an image to whatever document you want. And finally, if you are a bit more tech savvy, there is a code that you can paste into a frame. Um, if you do e-learning modules using Storyline or Rise, the iframe is what you would pull into a Rise e-learning module in order to get the, uh, the feedback looking a little bit like that one does within Rise. So that's quite a useful function as well. Most people will probably work with the first few, but there's some newer response options there. The final one I want to show you, and it's quite a nice one, this is pretty recent this one's come out, I've not noticed it until recently, is the present option and it's just to the right of collect responses. Now when you click on that, what you'll see is you'll see your information presented on the screen with the QR code. But what this really does, and this is really great for events when you're collecting data and you've got that information on the screen and you've got people in the room with you who can give you immediate feedback. And what you'll see on here is when they scan the QR code, you'll see that information going up in real time. So it's really great if you've got questions like this which are yes or no, multiple choice, so if did it work for you, giving people different options. Also, if you use sort of word cloud questions, you're getting a one word answer or a one or two word answer from people about their thoughts and feelings, that's quite useful as well. And if you're presenting your screen, then you can absolutely show in real time those answers. And this feels a little bit closer to some of the other um, similar sort of 
survey tools out there in the world. I'm thinking of a few names, but I'm not going to share them. Um, and some of the things that they can do, this is feeling a lot more familiar. So if you're doing a presentation, you're presenting your screen, you've got it up there on the whiteboard and you, people can see that QR code, you can get them to feedback immediately and everyone can see the results. So that's quite nice. So a few really great options there on sharing and collecting responses within Microsoft Forms. Have a go at those and check out the other videos in this channel.